so good to see you. I'm here to do another circle time with you. This time during circle time, I want to talk about Yom Ha'atz Ma'ut. That's a really big word. Listen to me say it one more time. Yom Ha'atz Ma'ut. Can you try to say it with me? Let's try it. Yom Ha'atz Ma'ut. That's a really big word that just means the Independence Day of Israel or Israel's birthday. Just like you have a birthday, the country of Israel has a birthday as well. And today we're going to look at some pictures of Israel, talk about special things about Israel, and do all sorts of fun stuff. But as always, we start every circle time with our yoga breaths. Let's do four gorilla breaths today. Ready? Uh... breaths are big breaths in through your nose and then out through your mouth. Put your hands by your heart. Ready? Two peaceful breaths. Great. Now let's sing our welcome song. Ready? Good morning, good morning, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I hope that you are too. Now, let's put our thinking caps on and think. Do you remember that big word that we learned back at the beginning of circle time? Say it with me, Yom Ha'atzmaut. And that's Israel's birthday, or Israel's Independence Day. So the first thing I want to talk about Israel is what it looks like. Israel is a country far away from ours where boys and girls just like you like to live and play. So this is a map of Israel, and Israel is this part right here. I'll move it a little closer so that you can see. So right here is Israel, and right here is the city of Jerusalem, and right here is the city of Tel Aviv. Those are very important cities in Israel, and we're gonna talk more about those later too. The second thing I wanna to talk to you about Israel is Israel's flag. This is Israel's flag right here. Let's look at it for a minute. What are some of the things that you notice about Israel's flag? Put your scientist goggles on and be an observer. One of the things I notice about Israel's flags is that it has two colors, white and blue. Do you guys remember how to say white and blue in Hebrew? White, Levan, blue, kahol. Really good job remembering. Hmm, I see one more thing on the flag of Israel. What else do you see on there? That's right, there's a Star of David on the flag of Israel. The Star of David is a symbol of the Jewish religion and of the country of Israel. Let's count and see how many points the Star of Israel has. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, wait, yeah. Six. Sorry, my flag got a little crumpled there. Later this week, if you want to, you can make a flag of Israel all by yourself. Tell me one more thing that you notice about the flag of Israel. We know that it is blue and white, kohol and levan. 
that there's a star of David in the middle. What else? That's right, it's got stripes on it or long rectangles. So what is this again, who can tell me? That's right, it's the flag of Israel. So the next thing I wanted to tell you about the city of Israel is one of the most beautiful places in it called the Temple Mount. And here is a picture of it. This is in the city of Jerusalem that I showed you on the map before. It's a very, very old city, and it doesn't look like the cities in, a, in where we live at all. I'm gonna move it a little closer that you can see it. So you see that all of the buildings are kind of made of stone and bricks, and they look kind of old. Not like where we live, where everything is really brand new and made out of different materials like wood or plaster. Now, one of the other really cool things that is in the city of Jerusalem is the Western Wall. This is a place where Jewish people go and say prayers to God. Sometimes they write notes in the Western Wall and put them in the cracks, or sometimes they just go and lay their hands on it and pray. So this is a picture of the Western Wall in the city of Jerusalem. Maybe later you can take some blocks and build your own Western Wall and write down something you want to talk to God about and put it in the Western Wall and say your prayers. All right, it's time for a song. And what better song to sing when we're learning about Israel than there was a man from Israel. It's a really long song, and I hope you can sing it with me the whole time. Ready? There was a man from Israel, Israel, Israel. There was a man from Israel, and his name was Yaakov. And his hair was made of hala, hala, hala. His hair was made of hala, and his name was Yaakov. There was a man from Israel, Israel, Israel. There was a man from Israel, and his name was Yahob, and his eyes were made of bagels, bagels, bagels. His eyes were made of bagels, and his name was Yahob, and his hair was made of hala, hala, hala. His hair was made of hala, and his name was Yahob. There was a man from Israel, Israel, Israel. There was a man from Israel, and his name was Yahob, and his nose was made of a matzah ball, a matzah ball, a matzah ball. His nose was made of a matzah ball, and his name was Yahob, and his eyes were made of bagels, bagels, bagels. His eyes were made of bagels, and his name was Yahob, and his hair was made of hala, hala, hala. His hair was made of hala, and his name was Yahob. There was a man from Israel, Israel, Israel. There was a man from Israel, and his name was Yahob. And his mouth was made of a kosher dill, a kosher dill, a kosher dill. His mouth was made of a kosher dill, and his name was Yaakov. And his nose was made of a matzah ball, a matzah ball, a matzah ball. His nose was made of a matzah ball, and his name was Yaakov. And his eyes were made of bagels, bagels, bagels. His eyes were made of bagels, and his name was Yaakov. And his hair was made of hala, hala, hala. His hair was made of hala, and his name was Yaakov. There was a man from Israel. Israel, Israel. There was a man from Israel, and his name was Yaakov. And his beard was made of herring, herring, herring. His beard was made of herring, and his name was Yaakov. And his mouth was made of a kosher dill, a kosher dill, a kosher dill. His mouth was made of a kosher dill, and his name was Yaakov. And his nose was made of a matzah ball, a matzah ball, a matzah ball. His nose was made of a matzah ball, and his name was Yaakov. And his eyes were made of bagels, bagels, bagels. His eyes were made of bagels, and his name was Yaakov. And his hair was made of hala, hala, hala. His hair was made of hala, and his name was Yaakov. There was a man from Israel, Israel, Israel. There was a man from Israel, and his name was Yaakov. And his ears were made of hamantash, hamantash, hamantash. His ears were made of hamantash, and his name was Yaakov. And his beard was made of herring, herring, 
Harry. His beard was made of Harry. His name was Yago. And his mouth was made of a kosher dill, a kosher dill, kosher dill. His mouth was made of a kosher dill, and his name was Yago. And his nose was made of a matzah ball, a matzah ball, matzah ball. His nose was made of a matzah ball, and his name was Yago. And his eyes were made of bagels, bagels, bagels. His eyes were made of bagels, and his name was Yago. And his hair was made of hala, hala, hala. His hair was made of hala, and his name was Yago. Whew, that is such a long song. Were you able to sing it the whole time with me? That's great. So I have even more pictures of places in Israel that I wanted to show you. The next thing I wanted to show you is a place called Masada. Hmm, look really closely. What do you see there? That's right, there's really not much there. Mount Masada used to be a very special place with a big temple and a big building, but it's so old that most of it has just crumbled away and turned into dust. Here's another picture of one of the parts of it. And you can see that it's made out of stones that were fit tightly together. Maybe later you can take your blocks and build a cool building like what used to be at the top of Mount Masada. The last picture I want to show you of somewhere special in Israel is a place called the Dead Sea. Hmm, why do you think it's called the Dead Sea? No, well, that could be. It's called the Dead Sea because it's so salty that nothing can really live with it inside it. And when you go and go swim in the Dead Sea, you float right up to the very top. I'm gonna to put it closer again so you can see. There's some people on a boat out there. Maybe sometime you can get a big bucket full of water and put a lot of salt in it and see if things float or sink with it. But make sure you ask your mom or your dad first. So that's really it. That's all I have to talk to you about, about Israel. I'm gonna do some other things later this week that I will send to you, but I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.